Bonjour Genie Engineers, welcome to my problem in day series. In this video, we're going to do a problem on fluid mechanics. We're going to calculate the energy. Now, if you're here for the first time and you just want to learn about engineering or just how to engineer better life, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, let's get started. Oh yeah, everybody now. Okay guys, so we're giving a diameter that is 25 centimeters, flow rate is 0.16 cubic meters per second, the pressure is 200, elevation is 10.71, and we need to find the energy. Now, I really like this problem because it really tests your understanding uh, of the concepts for fluids. Let's first identify the equation of the energy. So H it's equals to Z plus V squared over 2G plus P over gamma. This is the energy uh, equation. You also have it here on page 109. So Z represents the potential head. V squared over 2G represents velocity head. P over gamma represents the pressure head. And head usually represents energy. So just keep this in mind. So now Z is equal to 10.71. Now we need to calculate V, but we were given the flow rate and the diameter so we can easily calculate for it. So, because we have a steady incompressible fluid, so Q is equal to VA, so V is equal to Q over A. Now, Q is 0 0.16 cubic meters per second. Divide that by the area. Now, the, the pipe is circular, so we're going to use the uh, area of the circle, so I have pi over 4 times the diameter, which is 25, but it's 25 centimeters, so we have to convert it into meters because we have to have the uh, units consistent. So divided by 100, and this whole term is squared. Now, if you plug in this, you'll get 3.3 meters per second, which is not very high velocity. Now, let's go back into our equation and plug in, so I have 3.3 meters per second squared over 2 times 9.8 meters per second squared. Now the pressure was given to us in Pascal, so we have 200 Pascal and gamma it's 9.81 kilonewtons per cubic uh, meters and Pascal, the unit for Pascal is newtons per uh, meter squared. So we need to convert this into kilonewtons. So you multiply this by 10 to the power of minus 3. So if you plug in this, you'll get an answer of 11.28 meters. And so this is answer C. On the next video, we're going to calculate the height of a system and we're going to use the friction factor equation from Darcy. So make sure you hit the bell so you get notified when I release the video. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and make sure you share with your friends who might find it helpful. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you soon. À la prochaine. Oh yeah, everybody now.